Tonight, we are kicking off a new series, Cleveland's Hidden Gems. Our digital team is rolling out a list of 100 little known or forgotten spots for your family to rediscover this summer. Really excited about this. And tonight, News 5 photojournalist Dave Columbine introduces us to Tim Willis, a junkyard Picasso who creates masterpieces out of scrap metal. His collection is really something to behold. You know, uh, for years I did monster jams, mud racing. So this is what this is, is my Tonka toys. When I was a kid, I always wanted a Tonka toy. Could never get one. I said, when I grow up, I'm gonna make my own Tonka toys. Up, cut it up. That's what they are. The robots is extra. That's my imagination gone wild. <laughs> Hydraulics, I tell you, look at that. And creativity. Yeah, buddy. You see stuff like this on TV, but you'll never see it in real life. This real, this dragon actually walks, you know? Everything works. It can bite you, man. You see that? It can bite you. It hurts. That's 158 teeth in each mouth. My name is Timothy Willis. Everybody call me Tim. There it is. Tim Willis. He's a good guy. You know, watch him build them, and you know, he would take a little bit of something and make it into this wonderful masterpiece he came up with. That's how it started for me, and I was just a gearhead. No diplomas, no degrees, nothing. I was just motivated. I was really into I was really focused on what I wanted, thing to make things work better. And I just got carried away with it. I, I really did. Don't you just love the war? I want to learn how to weld. I always keep the welders ready to go. Because if I was a welder, then it'd make things so much easier. I went and bought a welder for $150, read the book, and got to doing it. You see why I just welded? Now all I got to do is grind it down. That taught me everything. That's a wonderful thing. I still do parades, festivals, um, Ingenuity Fest, all kind of stuff. At Cuyahoga County Fairgrounds, I be everywhere. So I got to always entertain the kids. I like big toys. This is as well. These, these trucks um, doing things for the community. How you doing? This means everything to him. Smooth action. I just can't have nothing normal. It's got to be different. What's going on? It's got to be my own tweak to it. You know what I mean? Like the old yellow and red truck, so we would get in and take a ride. Or climb on the trucks and play around. So generation after generation after generation. Take care now, y'all. He loves it. <laughs> People will drive by and think that it's just like, I don't know, a junkyard or whatever. That's awesome. amazing. It is really nice. And then when they get a little closer, they'll see all the trucks, but they have no idea, you know, who the person is behind them. You got to take this for a ride. That's how I do it, man! <laughs> I believe my place is a hidden gem. Why? Tell me something. Where else is you gonna find real robots? That's it. Did I say more? <laughs> <laughs> great. That is oh so God. cool. That, that is so cool. The, the smiles everywhere. You know, in and out. It was great. That was great. You can see uh, some of Tim's work on East 83rd and Central. It's right here in Cleveland. Yeah, his collection is just one of the hidden gems we are highlighting right now. Our list has about 90 locations on it, and we want your help getting that number to 100. So you can see the list and then send us your suggestions at news5cleveland.com slash hidden gems. I got to go visit that place. That is so cool. Everything was so intricate. That was fantastic. I, I just trust. love the, the fun and the smiles that we saw from that. That was great. And Dave did a great job putting it all yeah. together. Yeah. This is our new franchise, Hidden Gems. Really looking forward to it. Where else are you going to find real robots? <laughs> That's my favorite line right there. That's he said, awesome. He said if he knew how to weld, it'd be easier. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Love it. Great story. Great story.